Hey gang, Jose with Salem Vessel Reverie, bringing you another episode. This one actually a very short one. Um, I'm in the process of installing the lacy jack uh, that I, I made on um, Reverie. And now I'm not taking any credit for the design. The design actually came courtesy of Dan and Kika uh, over at Sailing Uma. I've been following them for, for many years and write to them to, to get advice on some of the projects that we're doing in Reverie. And actually, uh, uh, since I'm a patron, uh, they post some of the projects with the diagrams and the measurements. So uh, this is something that Dan um, put together uh, for uh, UMA. And basically, I'm about the same um, height of mass and the same length of boom, uh, or maybe just a tad shorter. So all the measurements uh, work really well. So I basically bought the line, uh, spliced the line, bought the loops, and um, you know, put a couple of blocks up in the mass. Actually, I didn't do that. I got a rigger to get up there because my wife won't let me climb up the mass. And um, we ran the lines, but we've been so busy, I haven't been able to finish it. So I'm finally getting around to putting it all together. And I got half of it already done. So um, I'm gonna show you um, basically what I'm doing. Uh, it's actually pretty simple. Anybody can do this. So let me show you. All right, so on the port side, you're gonna see the lines here. Uh, these are Dyneema and we went with Dyneema because it doesn't have a lot of stretch. So when you drop the, the sail, it's gonna work out really good and hold the sail uh, where it needs to be. So if you notice there's one triangle here, one triangle going up and supporting this one. And then the top side comes down um, into, uh, sorry, uh, top side, which is right there, comes down and connects to the boom. Um, the connection. Connection is very simple. Uh, basically, you get an eyelid and you screw it in into the boom and pass the lines through and that's gonna provide support. So you have four connecting points. Basically on my uh, boom, which is about 12 and a half feet long, um, I went every two and a half feet. And that seems to do a pretty good distribution um, for the, the sail and the boom. The materials, a couple of things to note is whenever there is a, a point that's, that's pulling on the line, like in this case, um, we put an eyelid um, to keep the friction to a minimum. And the this is kind of the, the center portion. So those two ends are going into the mass, sorry, into the boom with an eyelid. So I'm using um, uh, tap and screw uh, set using um, M5 uh, screws. Okay. So the screws I'm using are M5s. And basically I just went to the local hardware store, got stainless steel. Uh, before I put these into the boom, I'm using uh, uh, silicone grease. Um, you know, white silicone grease, just so things don't stick forever. And uh, I'm using the proper drill bit and tapping tool, which is right here. So I actually found this uh, through my rigger. He has one of these and it was so easy for him to tap um, using this, I went on and bought one. It was only like $11. And um, you basically just wet the tip um, and you know, it'll screw on and it's a ratchet. So you don't, you just have to hold steady pressure and just keep turning and the tool will do the work. And you use the proper drill bit, which is about 75% of the size of the screw. So I'm gonna finish this up and I'll show you the end product. Okay, gang, I'm on the kind of the last uh, eyelid to mount. So in order to make things match, what I did is I use a, a square and line it up on the other side of the mass. Um, great thing about isomat spars is that they have angles. 
So you have uh, really sharp edges on where to really position your square. So you have a straight line across. So I put this on the other side and came over, uh, put this on the other side, uh, marking the center of the eyelid and drew a line on this side. Then from there, I take my eyelid and I center it. And what I'm using is basically I put a tape right on that sharp edge on the isomats bar and I put another one just to protect while I'm drilling. But really what I'm going is, is what I'm doing is going one, uh, I guess, tape width up and lining up my eyelid and marking it to drill the holes. So that's kind of how I get everything to be consistent, uh, kind of down the line throughout the, the mass. So let me drill this last set of holes. Okay, once the holes are drilled, I use my tapping tool. And the great thing about this, for the airplane noise, is this is a little ratchet. Uh, it's really easy to get it in with one hand. Uh, and you get a perfect thread uh, without kind of having to work the, the hand version of this thing. So this is probably the best $11 I spent <laughs> so far on this project. So I'm really happy with it. Okay, let me uh, tap the other one. All right, eyelids installed. So let me show you how the lines are connected. So this line coming on the back, it's tying up to this loop, which connects to that loop, which is our, our center uh, triangle support. And then this line goes all the way up to the top to another eyelid that connects to this front line. So I'm gonna pull it up. There we go. Now I have the other one loose, so it's not, I, I didn't mess up. <laughs> uh, I didn't mess up, uh, it's not out of balance. Uh, it's just I loosened the other line so I can push the sail over while I was working on this side. So now I can pull them both up completely. Okay, a little easier to do with two hands. So now you can see the lacy jack uh, completely connected. So this is gonna make it so much easier to handle the sails. And once I get the sail up, uh, right now I'm at the dock, so it's not a, when it's not blowing uh, at a good angle for me to get a sail up while I'm here. So the next time we take it out, I'll go ahead and uh, adjust uh, the lacy jack one more time and it should be perfect. A couple of things we did on Reverie uh, is we put clutches uh, for the lines. Um, this is gonna give us um, some, some leverage. Um, uh, I have some new winches for the mast, but I haven't installed those. Uh, those are uh, self-tailing. These winches are so worn up that whenever you're you're coiling, it actually starts eating the you know feeding the line towards the downside instead of the upside. So I'm um, gonna replace those on both sides, but we got our clutches installed, so we have um, good line management uh, here in the mass. And this is just for now while I figured out what to do with the excess line for the lacy jack, um, which I'm gonna need because I still gotta reconfigure our sail cover um, to be a stack pack. So um, it's big enough that I can convert it. I just have to find somebody to do some sewing for me. All right, gang, that's it for this episode. A little short one for a change. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions on uh, the materials or how we put the lacy jack together, feel free to uh, uh, message me or put a comment on the video and I'll be happy to provide any answers uh, I can. Uh, but uh, it's a great design. 
Uh, it's gonna work great for our boat and I'm ready to get started and get using it. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this videos, please click on the bottom below and subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Mm -hmm.